so the Bruderhof is the um, group that publishes Plow, which I am very much not a member of, although I'm very much a fan and kind of adjacent to. Um, so it's an Anabaptist group, and they do the whole holding all things in common thing. So they're like full acts two and four living like the early Christians. That's funny because when you first contacted me about Plow, I was like, I thought this was an Anabaptist magazine. But I was looking at the site and I was like, is it? I was like, I can't tell. And then I was like, all right, whatever. <laughs> oh, okay. So obviously we got to go more Anabaptist here. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I am a member of, of that community, um, the Bruderhof, and we do try to share all things in common, you know, toothbrushes excluded. Um, and, uh, and yet the one reason the plow is not just all Anabaptists all the time is we're aware that we're part of a the greater body of Christ and we feel it's important, um, maybe more important because of this whole sh church shopping phenomenon you mentioned, this consumerist approach to Christianity, which so much goes against what the Holy Spirit was starting to starting at, at the first Pentecost. Um, it's maybe more important than ever to find common ground and emphasize points of unity um, than ever. And um, th that's what we need to do. We need to encourage each other that there's real flesh and blood reality to living out our Christianity. There's places you can see it. And it's not that the doctrinal differences don't matter. They, they do. But from an Anabaptist point of view, they matter a lot less than how we're living our lives as brothers and sisters, trying to follow Jesus, trying to do what he says in the Sermon on the Mount. And so that's really where, where Plow comes from, which is why, uh, you know, Susanna and I can have our, our Anabaptist Anglican fights from time to time on this podcast. Yeah, well, it's so interesting, the community thing. For 90 plus percent of my life, I mean, like my religion was just something I did in my room alone with some books, like literally like no exaggeration. So the idea of other people being involved in my spiritual life and having a community is really interesting and strange. I've come around, I've come around to seeing why it's essential, obviously, um, over time. But for me, spirituality and like being alone were like, tethered together intimately for essentially all of my spiritual life. If someone asked me, you know, what's your spiritual life? I'd say, well, there's my bedroom and I read stuff in there alone. <laughs> That's basically it. Right. And Christianity kind of explodes that, doesn't it? Because you have this communion of saints and then you have to start dealing with them. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. 